Yo, what's going on guys? This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to install Oxygen OS on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. As you can see I have the Redmi Note 5 Pro with me and I am running the MIUI latest global beta build which is the MIUI 10 8.11.1 and today I'm gonna show you how can you install Oxygen OS on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. This method is pretty simplistic and you need to have unlocked bootloader and you need to have official TWRP recovery installed and that is pretty much it and over here let me show you that I have downloaded the zip file already this is OxygenOS 5.1.6 and this is based on Android 8.1 and this is the second November 2018 build by the developer and this is ported for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is just a simple zip and you can just directly flash it with TWRP recovery and the file size over here as you can see it's 1.55 GB as it shows and you can download it from the link provided in the description and I always dreamed about it like Oxygen OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro this is pretty amazing what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below so without further ado let me just flash it on the Redmi Note 5 Pro so let's go into settings about phone and let me try to go to the recovery from here and you can directly go to the recovery by just holding the power button and the volume up button together i will reboot to the recovery like this from here and by the way guys again you don't need any g apps because this zip does include the g apps in it and one thing you need to note that i'm coming from miui so that is why i may need to format the storage but if you're coming from any custom ROM, you may not need to format the storage. So do keep that in mind. So as you can see, I'm using the official TWRP recovery version 3.2.3/0. So let's just go to wipe, then advanced wipe, then let's just wipe cache, Dalvik, data system, and let's just swipe to wipe. And before proceeding anything, make sure you did backup everything from your device, like the files you have on your device. So now let's go home, now tap install, now from here locate the zip file you have downloaded already, here is the zip file, so let me just select it and what I'll do I'll just swipe to confirm flash and as you can see it says DSSI and over here it says brought to you by Guzram, so huge thanks to this guy, thank you so much for porting this ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And I'm literally thankful to this developer. So as you can see, the flashing is done. So let's just reboot. As you can see, it says no OS installed for some reason. I'll just reboot. And as you can see, we have the OnePlus boot animation over here, which is the Oxygen OS boot animation. And for some reason it's restarting again. As you can see, we are booted into the system. And we do have the vaulty icon on top. So that is just great. Let me just set it up. And over here it's asking me to choose the font. I'll choose the OnePlus Slate font instead of Roboto maybe. Let me just set up my account and let me just set up my Wi-Fi and as you can see the Wi-Fi is connected. So as you can see it's asking me to set up the face unlock. Let me just do it. And as you can see it's done. So we are greeted to the home screen. Let me just adjust the brightness. So the night mode is not working and by the way to get the double tap to wake and the ambient display you may need to flash a patch or a fix but I did not flash it because I just want to use and see how is the actual zip file itself. And to the left of the home screen you will get this like one oxygen OS like the Google now cart kind of thing and it says never settle over here and you can just swipe up to get all the apps and here are all the apps 
and as you can see the icons does look like the actual oxygen ox icon and over here let me try the camera oh my god and it four stopped for some reason it says unknown error and for some reason it's four stopping for me so about the camera again it was four stopping earlier but to fix that what you need to do just tap and hold it go to selfie camera and it will be working just fine as you can see and right now i can take a picture and as you can see it did capture a picture and the quality is fine in my opinion and even in video mode what i am really excited about that you can even shoot 4k and looks like this is with eis this is just amazing 4k with eis this is just great and you can switch to the back camera like this and here you have the photo mode and the video mode too again here we do have the 4k and looks like even this one has eis too let me take a picture it's working super fine and you can even have the pro mode and stuff if you need to so let me just try the focusing maybe it's not working but it's doing something so do not expect these things to be working the manual mode and stuff but other than that everything is fine you can just increase or decrease the exposure like this and it does show this kind of graph we do have time lapse slow mo etc stuff and portrait mode again is there and let me try the other things the gallery yeah the gallery does work as you can see let's go back and for some reason what i am seeing is the navigation bar is just going black but you can definitely tap it as you can see again it's just going black let's just clear all the apps and we have the oneplus community app over here the oneplus clock app is there and what else the phone app yeah the oneplus dialer is there and as you can see it has the oneplus dialer and oneplus call ui you can record calls from here too as you can see so the loudspeaker works fine let me try the earpiece i can't hear anything from the earpiece but that's just how it is i'll check it later on uh looks like it's still not working with the earpiece i do not know why but that's kind of disappointment but maybe in future with future updates the developer may fix it but we actually have oxygen os running on the redmi note 5 pro and it is running almost super fine So as you can see again I applied the OnePlus wallpaper so this is just looking awesome and you can pull down the notification from here which I have showed you already and bluetooth option is there mobile data option is there and let me try the hotspot and we do have the 5 gig hash band too as you can see and you have this automatically turn off hotspot feature of OnePlus this is just great and we even have the restarting or power menu option of oxygen os as you can see let me just reboot it we have the voice recorder of oneplus i guess let me just try to record and yeah it's recording as you can see what else should i try we do have magisk manager over here I think Magisk is pre-installed and let me just go into settings and as you can see this is just amazing 
we have the wi-fi bluetooth etc settings we have the alert slider settings for some reason but the alert slider is actually not there over here so that is that we have buttons option over here and you can customize stuff i mean the recent and home button or the back button long press or double press customization options are there you can swap the buttons if you need to as you can see on screen navigation bar so i think this is gonna work fine now and you can keep it always enable if you want these home buttons over here always if you don't want the full screen stuff let's go back we have the gestures you have the three finger screenshot gesture and as you can see it does work and you can pull down the quick settings or notification panel from here just like this and you can edit and add more stuff from here if you need to let me add the battery saver and let's add gaming mode and these are the options you will get over here reading mode is there let's enable it and see uh, it's not working maybe and let's go to settings again let's go to gestures and as you just saw you can just take a screenshot just like this and you can edit stuff from like this as you can see it's working so this is just great we have the double tap to wake option over here but for this i think you need to flash the patch and we can like add draw o let me just try it or let's just do it with the flashlight maybe it's not working i think the face auto unlock is not recognizing my face let's just unlock it normally so this draw thingy not working let's go back and inside status bar you can have the battery bar or the battery circle or the bat or you can just hide the battery icon as you can see you can set to show battery percentage you have the display network speed option as you can see you have the icon manager over here you can disable or enable any icon from here let's go back you have the time customization over here and inside display settings you will get the adaptive brightness and it's working fine as you just saw and we have the ambient display and stuff but i don't think so that it's working we have the font size customization from here we have the display size customization from here let's go back we have the notifications option over here and we have the sound and vibration customization from here we have a audio tuner and earphone mode is there again i do not know if it's working fine let's go back we have the vibrator intensity so i'll just choose notifications to vibrate light let's go back we have the battery option over here as you can see we have the screen on time and stuff like oneplus devices and what else let's go to security and let's see if there is fingerprints option yeah fingerprint option is there let me just add it and let's go back and let's try to unlock it with the fingerprint scanner and as you can see it's pretty damn fast oh my god it's super fast as you can see So this is just amazing that Oxygen OS is running fine and even the fingerprint scanner is working fine. You can enable the OTG storage from advanced. Let me just go back and we have the system update option for some reason. As you can see it just shows unknown. In about phone we have the phone name as OnePlus 5 and the Oxygen OS version is as you can see 5.1.6 over here and the ram it says 4 gb of course storage 64 gb and android version as you can see is android 8.1.0 so 
audio let's go back and here is the stock kernel version if you wanna know and the security patch is of October 1st 2018 so that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today I'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now Oh, 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 oh,